Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about inheritance in C++. Now, inheritance is basically where we can define a class and then we can define other classes and those classes can extend the functionality or they can inherit all the functionality, all the attributes of that original class. So the easiest way for me to explain this is just to kind of show you guys an example. So over here in my program, I created a class and it's called the chef class. Basically this class is like modeling like a chef in our program. And there's a couple different functions that the chef class can perform. The chef can make chicken, the chef can make salad, and the chef can make a special dish. Basically each of these functions just prints out like what it's doing. So this one says the chef makes chicken, the chef makes salad, chef makes barbecue ribs. Very simple class. Um, and down here you'll see I'm actually creating an instance of this chef class and it's called chef and down here I'm telling the chef to make chicken. So let's run the program and we'll see what happens. So when I run the program you'll see it prints out the chef makes chicken. Awesome. So we have this chef class and let's say that I'm writing my program and I'm thinking to myself like, hmm, I think in addition to representing just a normal generic chef, I also want to represent an Italian chef. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over and I'll actually just create another class. So I'm just gonna say class, and instead of creating a chef class, I'm gonna create an Italian chef class. So I'll say Italian chef. And let's say for our purposes, when we're creating this Italian chef class, we want the Italian chef to be able to do everything that the normal chef can do. So this Italian chef can make chicken, can also make salad and can also make a special dish. But in addition to that, the Italian chef will be able to do a bunch of other stuff. Well, we can actually use inheritance in order to build this Italian chef. Because the Italian chef is gonna be able to do everything that the normal chef could do, like make chicken, make salad, and make a special dish, I can actually inherit all of these functions from the chef class in my new Italian chef class. And I'll show you guys how to do that. It's actually super easy. All we have to do is come down here and I'm just gonna make a colon and then I can just say public and chef. And so this is referring to the class that I want to inherit from. And now what's cool about this is this Italian chef is gonna have access to all of the functionality up here in this chef class. So it's basically going to inherit all of those functions. So I'll show you, if I was to come down here and create an Italian chef, so if I just said Italian chef, we'll just call it Italian chef. I could then say Italian chef dot make chicken. And even though I didn't specify anything up here, even though this class is technically empty, like even though I didn't specify a make chicken function or a make salad or a make special dish function up here, I'm still able to call make chicken on Italian chef. So if I was to run this program now, you'll see it says the chef makes chicken. So I'm able to call that function on the normal chef and the Italian chef. Essentially what's happening is the Italian chef down here is inheriting all of this functionality. So actually just to sort of demonstrate this even further, if I came down here and I changed this to chef makes yummy chicken, now when I run my program again, you'll see that the Italian chef is also gonna be able to make yummy chicken. So it's basically inheriting this function from the chef class. And what's cool about inheritance is that not only can we inherit all that functionality, but we could extend on it. So the Italian chef isn't just gonna be able to do everything the chef does. The Italian chef can also do other stuff. So the Italian chef could also like make pasta. And down here we can just basically print out like the chef makes pasta. So in addition to being able to make everything that the normal chef can make, this Italian chef can also make pasta. So I could come down here and say make pasta. But it's important to note that this normal chef can't make pasta. So if I tried to call pa make pasta on the normal chef, you'll see we're gonna get an error. So you'll see over here, it's not gonna be able to run the program. And actually it looks like I had an error up here, so this should be a less than sign. All right, so now we'll get an error down by the other chef. Yeah, so now we're getting this error, which is basically saying um, this, this chef can't make pasta, but the chef could make chicken. Um, and now that you'll see the Italian chef is gonna make pasta and the normal chef's gonna make chicken. 
And actually, one more thing I forgot. We need to put um, public over here. I keep forgetting to do that. So I'm going to say public, and then this is basically going to specify that this uh, function is going to be public. So now we should be able to run our program. And you'll see it says the chef makes yummy chicken and the chef makes pasta. So both of our chefs are able to do different things, and that's pretty cool. Um, and the other cool thing I can do with inheritance is I can actually override certain functions. So you'll notice up here, the normal chef has this make special dish function. And this chef is making barbecue ribs as a special dish. But let's say that the Italian chef was gonna have a different special dish. Well, I can do something called overriding a function. So I can actually copy this function from up here and I could paste it down here into my Italian chef. And essentially now, this is gonna override the function from up here. So instead of making barbecue ribs, we could have him make like chicken parm. So now this Italian chef is gonna be making chicken parm while the normal chef will make barbecue ribs. So if I came down here and I said make special dish on the normal chef and I said make special dish on the Italian chef. Now these are going to be two different things because the Italian chef overrode that original function. So chef makes chicken parm and the chef makes barbecue ribs. So that's kind of how overriding can be useful. Like if you're inheriting a function and you want to change like what it's doing um, or modify what it's doing in the other class, you can do that. Now, just a quick terminology. So we would call this chef class a super class. And then we would call this Italian chef class a subclass because the Italian chef is inheriting from the chef class, which is the super class. And that is essentially the basics of inheritance is you're essentially creating a class and you're inheriting all the functionality from another class inside of it. And then you can do things like add extra functions. Um, you can add on to it or you can override the functions that you inherit. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.